It's real. A heart-shaped moon. It's incredible. It's beautiful. Ah, it's Boston. How did it get like that? You see the bottom point there? That was a gigantic supervolcano and it erupted a few millennia back, sending massive plumes of ejector out at almost orbital speeds. Most of it travelled nearly half an orbit and then settled there at the top in two heaps. That's one hell of an eruption. It's balmy big, ah. The moon's mostly hollow now. It's barely structurally stable, well I mean, it's not at all structurally stable, it'll have collapsed back into a globe in a few millennia. We're lucky to have seen it. A planet-sized symbol of love. That is the kind of thing I joined this ship for. To anyone in the southern continent, it looks like a giant arse. Oh Simon, did you ever fall in love? Yeah, of course, I've loved often. But I spent most of my life tripping around the galaxy at relativistic speeds. It's not easy to have a long-term relationship that way, often apart and ageing differently. So you never married? Nah, I never really wanted it enough. I was always chasing the stars instead. I wonder if I will meet my one true love and get married. Some of you will, I imagine. At least they'll think they have. And some of you's well. That's the wondrous thing about our universe. In the future, there'll be alts of you that marry and alts that die. And some of the single alts will have extraordinary adventures and some of them will just die young. And some of the marriages will be good and some of them will be bad and... Some will just be weird, like the alts where you marry an alien or whatever. And you, you've got to handle all those futures, Carl. All of those people are going to remember being you right now. It makes no sense to have a single true soulmate in a universe like this. Your future's old a thousand different soulmates and a thousand wonderful lives without one. I'm going to marry an alien. Some of yours, most likely I expect, yeah? You'll be meeting plenty. The question is, what proportion of you will marry an alien? If that's not none, you ought to be prepared for it. Ready to make the most of it, whatever that is. But an alien? Some of my alts married an alien, I reckon. I could have stayed on Quarton 6 with Gracie pretty easily. You knew an alien? Named Gracie? Well, sort of. Names never translate well. But that's what I called her. She moved like a deer, it was entrancing. That's beautiful. Interplanetary love. Yeah, though the Simon who married Gracie is dead by now, of course. Even if he lived a long and happy life. He never saw his own world again and he never ever saw an art shaped moon. I suppose there's good and bad in all our futures. If it's possible, you'll get to experience it, ah. You just call share that experience with all your other alts. Try not to be jealous of them. Be glad they exist, even though you'll never meet them. And be glad that you're not one of the alts that's dying painfully in the ghost realms. You are so weird, Simon. Ah, but not as weird as the ghost realms.